Hi there. Today I wanted to talk about that all-important subject of mobile Wi-Fi. For those of you that travel full-time but must maintain a connection so that you can get your work done or if you're a content creator it's very important to have good connection to be able to upload videos and so on and so forth. One of these is quite important. This is a mobile Wi-Fi. And basically uh, you can use your cell phone device in many cases for mobile Wi-Fi, but in most cases those do not have truly unlimited and unthrottled uh, service. For someone like me that does web conference calls on a daily basis, I need to have unthrottled internet or else it will affect my customer experience. So I uh, found the OTR Mobile, and many RV uh, people that I've met also use OTR Mobile. They've gotten quite popular because of their unlimited service on AT&T. They had a variety of different modems to choose from. We chose the Netgear because it's got the best range. Uh, it's called the Nighthawk. Uh, it's a very popular modem. It allows you to connect up to, I think, 20 devices. But the main thing we got it for was for signal strength um, and reach and distance. In case we were other parts of the RV or outside, we wanted to be able to work on that, with that. So recently, OTR Mobile decided to scrap the AT&T plan and go to T-Mobile. And we were going to do that. We were going to give it a try, even though last time we had T-Mobile about four years ago, we couldn't even make a phone call on T-Mobile service from our home right here in St. Louis. Uh, so we were a little bit hesitant to do that, but we really had no option because they were really forcing um, people to change because they said AT&T could disconnect at any time. So my father's also got the same plan. I've been trying to help him move over, and neither one of us could get these unlocked. So OTR Mobile had promised through email and on their website that they would help unlock devices so that you could switch from AT&T to T-Mobile. They could not figure out how to get these done uh, at all. So we were getting ready to switch to another service. We were looking at some other um, mobile companies like Gypsy Wireless and there's quite a few um, that are out there that are similar to OTR Mobile um, that are supported on across all four of the major networks, Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile. We prefer AT&T and Verizon. I've spent close to 25, 30 years in telecommunications, so um, I know pretty in depth which ones have the best service. And uh, based on personal experience as well, uh, Verizon and AT&T are the top uh, companies with coverage. T-Mobile may be making some uh, inroads, but like I said, four years ago it was absolutely miserable, so I just don't really want to take that leap. So the good news is that we got an email from OTR yesterday that said that they are going to have a new plan called Blue Blast Plan so you can stay on AT&T provider. You just need to get a new SIM card. And there's actually a website that you can go to to do the migration and we are going to do that. I just are, um, and we are going to give that a try. So I've just requested my SIM card and I'll do another video once I get that and I put it in this puppy and we see how it works. So I believe the price is going up a little bit from 60 to 70 just like it was going to if you went to the uh, T-Mobile Blast Plan. Uh, but this is good because now we don't have to mess with selling this device or trying to figure out how to unlock it because if you're not using AT&T and you can't unlock this device, it uh, is basically a $400 boat anchor. So uh, really good device, but it's great and uh, on AT&T and locked to AT&T. You can buy these that are unlocked. I would highly recommend them on, uh, I know, the AT&T network. They're probably pretty good on the Verizon network as well. Okay, if you're interested in migrating... Um they don't really mention it on their main page, or at least I couldn't find it. I actually got it from, I got the link from an email, but you don't necessarily need to get that email if you're wanting to switch. You can come in here and type in migrate. otrmobile.com. That should take you to the correct page. There you go. Okay, so this is telling you about the legacy switchover. It's telling you that that legacy plan that we were on is no longer available. Originally, when they announced this, they told us that you all had to switch to the BLAST plan, which was the T-Mobile BLAST. In this case, they've created a blue BLAST plan. So now you can stay on your blue BLAST plan if you're a legacy customer. You'll pay $70 a month, and you just basically go to Migrate Now, and you'll select your upgrade package, which is basically a new SIM card. 
You'll just enter your device information or IMEI number here, add that to your cart, and then check it out. There's two options on checkout. One is for FedEx, which will cost you around 12 bucks. If you just select USPS, then they'll send this regular mail and it'll be free of charge to you. Then once you get this, you basically put in your SIM card and uh, I think you'll have to call them to activate onto the new network. And that's supposedly all there is to it. So like I said, in a couple of weeks, we will get this SIM card in and we will try it against our Nighthawk router and give an update on how well that worked. So stick around. In a couple of weeks, we'll give you an update on how the process went with getting the new SIM card and upgrading to this Blue Blast plan.